day two. <laughs> um, we're going to go ahead and separate the transmission from the motor. And when we separate it, the transmission is actually going to stay on this one fixture and the motor will stay on its own fixture. Um, as we separate it, you'll see how, how this works and how it easy. It is move things around. So, uh, okay, we're going to separate it. You ready? cool huh stays its own fixture I don't have to worry about it anyway this is the converter we're gonna take back off we'll get another brand new one on here and go from there we are actually going to go ahead and replace the cam sensor during our uh, last outing I think it was up at Mocan it might have been at the Tulsa or at the TNT session uh, we got a cam sensor error, so uh, went out and bought a brand new sensor. This is a, uh, just to let you guys know, don't ever go out and buy a cheap sensor like I did. Uh, these are probably one of these knockoffs. I know it's not a Delco one, uh, but I did go ahead and buy a brand new Delco one, and that's what's going to go in there. Just to get you an idea, the part number. That's the part number that we got. Um, I'm not sure it looks right. Yeah, it looks about the same. So I think we're good to go. Okay. Shh. Put that in there, please. It's going to go right there. I'd rather do it now while it's out than while it's in the car. <laughs> and just torque it up. And it should clear out the code. We'll find out when we uh, turn the motor on. We got that balancer on. It does set back a little bit further. Well, in fact, a lot further. Uh, we figured about an inch and a half back further. Anyway, as you can see, it does not align with the alternator at all. So, uh, what we're going to do is actually uh, get this alternator. It's going to sit back further behind the motor plate. Uh, it's almost about the width of those spacers that you see there. So to get this alignment of this belt back on to the uh, balancer there. So uh, we're going to have to work those details out. But uh, I think we've got a good fix for it. Okay, we had to take the motor plate off because we're going to have to make the hole a bit larger for the alternator to fit further back in. So you can see I kind of outlined in black of how much I have to take off the motor plate so I have to alternate it fit back further in. So quickest way I know, I'm going to just use a slap wheel on it. But it should take it off pretty quick and get us a nice clean edge. So go ahead and get all that stuff going and, and get it back on the motor. Okay, making progress. This is almost too much to grind off. So what we're going to do, we're actually going to take a uh, saber saw and as we cut it we lubricate it with wd-40 and it cuts pretty darn quick so anyway we're going to try to do that and see how that goes okay we think we got it all cut and clearance we test fitted the alternator just to make sure it looked like it's going to fit we're actually going to need to cut one little spacer for a bolt we'll show you that here in a little bit but it looks like it's going to go ahead and fit back here no problem and once we get it in here i'll show you another quick little clip What's it going to look like? Okay, this is what it looks like now. We actually had to take the alternator, or actually we had to cut some in the motor plate so we get the alternator to fit back uh, deeper. Uh, so it actually comes back here a little bit more. But as you can tell, the alignment looks really, really good. Uh, everything's a lot more solid fitting than we had before. before. Before we had some spacers up here, now it fits flushed against the motor plate which is a good thing we still had to cut a spacer for that and back there 
but that's uh, that's no biggie. But uh, look like that is actually going to work out pretty nice. So I'm happy how that looks. Uh, but that's it for tonight. Uh, we'll finish this thing up uh, tomorrow night. This is day three of this project. Um, we're taking our time on this one. Yeah, could we have it done in a day? Sure, maybe two days, yeah. I do work during the day, so the only time I've working on, on this is toward the evening. Uh, but still, uh, we're just taking our time. We had we had to do uh, a little bit extra things on this one. We had to replace a sensor, uh, put, a, put a new balancer on. Uh, then we had to uh, modify the motor plate. So that took us some time to get all that fixed and stuff. But uh, this is day three. Uh, is definitely going to get it into the car today and maybe even fire it up today because we have a test session we're going to down in uh, Thunder Valley on Saturday. So that's our plans. Okay, the next step is go ahead and just remove this converter. Uh, basically, I always like to pick some paper towels, paper towels down uh, and just yank that converter off there fairly quick. It shouldn't really lose any fluid but when we put the new converter in, um, what I like to do, I always like to go ahead and put some uh, training fluid actually in the converter. I put about a quarter in it, and that should be enough to get it going. And uh, then uh, we'll probably lose some fluid while we're putting it in, but it won't be that much. But anyway. Okay. Um, the other one is now in place. Uh, this one has a little bit different uh, snout on it. Uh, on this converter, this snout is actually removable. It's actually on some threads. Uh, comes in handy if you want to do a uh, mid plate or something like that. We have to, you have to adjust your snout where it has to go further out or something like that. But uh, this snout is actually set up for an LS uh, motor uh, crank. So it's all ready to go, unlike the other one actually had an adapter that goes on it, on the snout. This one actually is attached to it. So that's what I really like about this converter. So, uh, but basically put it on, lost very little fluid, if anything at all. But uh, clicked right in, and uh, now our next task is go ahead and take that and put it onto that. Okay. It's all attached now. Um, so what we're gonna do next, we're gonna go ahead and uh, put it back in the car. I'm gonna set up actually a time lapse on this, like I did some other ones, but uh, give you a good perspective of how much time it takes to put it in. So that will be coming next.
looks like air conditioning inside. That's the funny part. sitting outside it says 104 but that's just because the truck's been sitting there idling just for a little bit um, I think it's supposed to be 90 something today heat index is supposed to be in the mid I don't know 105 to 107 uh, yeah it's gonna be a very very warm day so uh, but we'll make the best of it uh, I know the track at the very beginning is gonna be kind of slick but um, we're going to have a good day. It's a, any good day to go racing is uh, a, a good day. Uh, a lot of people don't get that chance to do stuff like that. But uh, we do have that ability to, to do racing, and that's what we're going to go ahead and do. Uh, so anyway, that's what the plans are. <laughs> 